Welcome, Welcome to your morning, morning cup with iBen's Academy. Academy. I'm Kara. And I'm Ash. And we're Cash. Hey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so, Last week, yes. we were talking about knowing. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about knowing, it was in the sense of knowing that you're high frequency and things will resolve in the highest frequency outcome. Mm-hmm. So you can expect it to resolve in the highest frequency outcome because you're high frequency. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And knowing is a very powerful energy. It's very different from some of the other energies we were looking at, too. So it's inherently empowering, which mm-hmm. is pretty awesome. It is. Yeah. But, but <laughs> that's not all. That's not all. So you don't just know no stuff. and then do nothing. <laughs> yes. So it's knowing and we still have action yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Because knowing isn't then the basically oh i know um, everything's going to be a highest frequency outcome so i don't need to do anything the house is burning and clearly it's burning it's on fire (laughs) there's smoke everything you know the alarm's going off but i know it's going to be high frequency so i'm just going to sit here yeah like that's just that doesn't work Mm -hmm. at all (laughs) there's a super funny meme that has this dog it's a cartoon it has this dog in a house and it's on fire and it's just burning, and it's just sitting at the table, drinking a cup of coffee, going, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> so that's not what we no, mean. <laughs> that's not what we mean. No. So it's like knowing, but you still have to, we still have to do our work. Yes. And we still have to um, continue our ascension work and our, our work to be empowered of, you know, processing our fears, processing our firewalls, and, you know, the the countless number of tools, the events method tools that are out there. But those help us to then make sure that the actions that we take are high frequency actions. Yes, exactly. And they're supportive of that highest frequency outcome. Mm -hmm. Yep. So knowing is important, Mm -hmm. right? We know Mm -hmm. that we're inherently high frequency. Your source frequency is extremely high. Mm -hmm. Know that. However, we are still in a co-created reality where there's a split and a dark white paradigm. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of mixed agendas. So as a result, you know, we have to be diligent in creating and making the experience we want to have. And yeah. that's by stepping up, responding, and doing, take, taking action. Yeah. yeah, doing, taking action. Absolutely. I remember when I was in university, so this is a long time ago, um, that I had this like kind of vision board book thing (laughs) and it was pictures of things that I wanted to manifest in my life and um I made this book and there wasn't a lot that actually went into it like (laughs) (laughs) um but it you know it was like magazine clippings and stuff like that and there was a house in particular that I had um really loved it was a beautiful house from like an architecture book or something like that or magazine and I put it in there and this notebook and that was it. And then the notebook got put away and it wasn't until I moved into my current house, right? So probably at least a decade later, something like that, I moved into my current house and I pull out this book because I wanted to, I I was thinking I was like showing Anelia something from it. I don't remember exactly what. And as we're looking in this notebook, there's a picture that looks almost identical to my house that I had like just moved into Mm -hmm. right it's the same color there was like a river behind the house there's kayaks and it's lush and green and trees everywhere and it was just it was beautiful and I realize now in retrospect it's like that moment right that creation of having this intent like this home is beautiful it resonates for me I'm going to put it in my manifestation book in this vision board notebook that I had created but then I did nothing with it right like I did nothing for a decade and then it was a decade later that I actually started like I want to buy a house and Mm -hmm. you know then doing my work for it so I mean there's a whole other element to the manifestation process about that we're not going to get into where you know it, it you know, it, it persevered through a decade mm-hmm. of the, that desire, right? But at the same time, it was it was could never come in before, right? It was 
enough to identify that I wanted it. And that was like enough for the universe and for the human collective and Gaia to say, okay, great. Yeah, sure. You can have it. But I didn't do anything. So it didn't come to me the decade prior. Mm -hmm. Right. It wasn't until I did something that finally it came through and I was like, oh, wow, I manifested (laughs) this a decade ago and it took me this long now. So yes, you had done something, right? Mm -hmm. 10 years before, took a very proactive step to be like, oh, this is so beautiful. I love this house. It's Mm -hmm. amazing. Forgot about it. Yep. And then eventually... It happened. (laughs) Yes. But it happened later after I actually did a bunch of work to get my house. Mm -hmm. You know, I was actually being very proactive, processing any resistances and... Um, yeah, I did a lot of other manifestation work around it, but I had never, I actually like looking at it now, I didn't ever pick what the house, I, what I wanted the house to look like, Mm -hmm. um, in that, like that 10 years later, right? I I never, I didn't pick the house. I just picked the area. Like I knew where I wanted to be. And that was what I focused on was where I wanted to be. It was like the rest of it just was, um, it didn't even matter to me, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And funny enough, you know, I had already picked the house. That's mm-hmm. why, <laughs> you know, yeah. I just forgot. I didn't realize I had picked it. Yep. I right. picked it 10 years ago. I just didn't know it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So the it, it's like, it's all great to create like feeling boards and vision boards and to daydream about the things that we want or how you know what would it look like if it was easy but if we don't take any action and we don't like actually bring that into the physical like how you were talking about before then we're not we we're not really giving it a lot of opportunity Mm -hmm. to happen yeah and this is one reason why Nelia does use the tools of like create a vision board or a feeling board she spends more time I'm um, talking about that in some of her work classes, but it, it is a step in taking action. And sometimes we like, don't know what we want. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's a good way to figure out, Oh, what do I actually want? Like even that's an action. Mm-hmm. Right. But sitting around going, Oh, I want a house. Do, 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 do. Or do we want a house? Oh, it, it's like, it's not quite solid enough. Right. And it's a really good first step to taking action But there's more involved in the process. Right, right. Like, it's not, the house wasn't going to just, like, you know, fall on me. (laughs) Hopefully not. (laughs) Yes. You know, it's like, okay, well, very least, okay, are you going to get a realtor? Mm -hmm. Are you going to start searching through listings? Are you going to, you know, even just, like, that, how things function in the reality that we're in, right? It's like taking, continuously taking, like, the next logical step Mm -hmm. in the process. Yep, exactly. Yeah, and this is so core to all of the work that we do, honestly, because mm-hmm. being empowered is about responding and you, uh, responding with our power, and that's a very proactive thing. Like even what, 11, 12 years ago, when Inelia first went public, she was saying how um, the new paradigm is not a location, it is our creation. Right. And I back then, if you recall, maybe, maybe not, but like 2010, 2011, 2012, there was a lot of, you know, rhetoric out there about 5D and ascension and it's going to come and it's going to come from the aliens or it's going to come from angels and blah, 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 blah. But one message that hasn't changed in all these years is that the new paradigm is our creation. Mm-hmm. And we do that by taking action. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be these like big, grandiose things, although that's cool too. And that's very powerful. But even just the um, responding to like, oh my gosh, I'm fearful right now. Or, oh, I have a fear about oh, a survival program around my mortgage. Like, oh my gosh, what if I lose my job? <gasps> oh, then I can't pay my mortgage and I'm homeless. Like, oh, that's a fear. So what do we do? We process it, Right. And that's taking action too. Mm-hmm. So For sure. it's all about the doing, right? Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of ways to do. And that's why there are all sorts of classes in the I Ben's method yes. that talk about that and explore yeah. that. But passivity isn't going to bring forth the new paradigm. 
right? Like, so no. waiting for it to happen, <laughs> waiting for someone to do it. Like, oh, Anelia, yeah, yeah, you can create it. And let me know it's ready. We'll be there. Yes. <laughs> no, that's not going to no. And I know it. We know Anelia. That is not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, it's not, that's not how it goes. Right. Right. And so it's now in your life, in this moment, making this choice to even just express your highest frequency. Yeah. You know, making the choice that, okay, to express my highest frequency, personally, I found I really need to take care of my physical body. So how do I take care of her? Um, she could use a little bit more water, maybe some more food and really good food, like really clean water, mm-hmm. like happy, happy vegetables happy animal food mm-hmm. <laughs> you know if you consume food but <laughs> <laughs> there might be some breath areas that my body does yeah. we're, we're attached to that yes this point, so. um but right so it's like it can be very like you could say call it like mundane things but they're actually meaningful things mm-hmm. and over time it adds up yeah right um just the choice of like hey there's you know, let's say you turn on the television and there's like your TV streaming app and there's a million different options of things that you can watch. And what do you choose? You know, do you choose the the program that has, you know, body carnage and blood and things going on? Or do you, do you choose the program that's uplifting and feels good and like hearted? You might have some other programs running too, of course, mm-hmm. but like for the most part, it will, you walk away feeling like that was enjoyable, that was pleasurable in the sense of like it was uplifting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even that's taking an action, right? Yeah, like exactly. con- consciously choosing what type of movie to consume or watch. Yep. It's like okay, we could go with the classic war movie or maybe a nice comedy, mm-hmm. and even that is taking a choice, and you know. As long as you're doing it consciously, that's great. You're taking action. Yeah. But you're choosing how to live and direct your life. Yeah. Otherwise, if you're waiting for others to do it for you, that's literally like giving your power away, Mm -hmm. right? Which is the opposite of empowerment. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then it goes to anything. Okay, so what we consume, like meaning with the content, you know, media, what we consume with food and water and other things. And then... You know, who are we hanging out with? Mm-hmm. You know, what conversations are we having yeah. with those people? Yeah. And this comes up a lot, especially since we are in a split, right? There's a lot of people we know and love who have decided to keep living the paradigm that we've grown up with our whole lives, which is the dark white paradigm, right? And they're continuing that choice. And then we've chosen... Because if you're listening, you've chosen this. (laughs) You've chosen to embody your highest frequency and to create the new paradigm, right? The other side of the split, the light paradigm. And, you know, it's still mixed. So it's common to kind of wonder, like, how do we engage with other people? Or who do we hang out with when we know we're on the other side of the split, right? And that's their choice. Their higher self knows best. So we don't want to go into righteousness or say that their choice is wrong. But we can be very diligent in how we choose to engage, Mm -hmm. right? And find shared interests that are uplifting to talk about. Mm -hmm. And if it, like, pivots towards something that is uh, power over others or low frequency, it's like, okay, Make a choice, be proactive, and talk about something else, right? Yeah. And it can be done in a very gentle, loving way without inv- righteousness, invalidating them or whatever. Mm-hmm. And even that is so powerful. And it's a very clear, actionable way to be that high-frequency mm-hmm. paradigm, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I started teaching um, yoga again uh, locally. And there were some students who used to be my students before, before all like the classes shut down and all that, right? And I, um, I, it was so exciting to see them. Like I was so happy to see them again, and they were happy to see me, and it was great. And at the same point, I know some of the students in that class have made different choices than what I've made mm-hmm. through the last couple of years, mm-hmm. you know. But it was irrelevant 
in the moment. Like it really wasn't important in the situation that we're in and what we were focusing on was great and something we all enjoyed and loved. And that was it, you know, and then you could walk away from that experience and, um, and you know, it was a a nice time. Mm -hmm. It was a good class. It was a nice hour. It was wonderful connecting with these people. And, um, yeah, it didn't matter mm-hmm. in that moment, you know, because we weren't creating anything that was low frequency. Yeah, exactly. You know? We were only creating something that was high frequency, mm-hmm. co-creating that together, and the rest was irrelevant. Mm-hmm. So that can happen, mm-hmm. and I think sometimes, like, it gets, the, it's maybe when tensions get high, when righteousness gets triggered or different things like that it can feel like well now I don't want anything to do with these people you know and it's who've chosen let's say a different paradigm and right now we are still in a uh in the split you know we aren't split completely right Mm -hmm. so through that it's like yeah of course these are I'm not gonna invite everybody over to my house and say let's hang out every day we're gonna do like you we're know. gonna be best friends. We're gonna like, be best yeah, friends, yeah, and yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna go to your house. And, you know, I know there's certain things, but this is not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's like kind of within the context, I guess, right? Within like the dynamic, that's a very comfortable, say, like dynamic to to be in, um, teaching a class, and having it focused in that way. Mm-hmm. Yep. But yeah. Yeah, there's so many ways that we can take action to embody that high frequency paradigm, right? Mm-hmm. What does that even mean? It means like we're taking, making the choice to step out of that power over other stuff. And it can be very simple, like do fear processing, or, you know, you can set up a nice little cute altar in your house, or Make sure that when you go to a holiday party, you don't talk about politics because you know that's a kryptonite and it's going to fall into righteousness. So you talk about something instead, right? Yeah. And taking care of your body. I mean, there's so many ways to do it. And guess what? All of the Ivan's Method classes are designed to help you become proactive mm-hmm. about empowering yourself and your life. Mm-hmm. Like literally every single class has a doing exercise. Yeah. Like do this. I mean, it's there is data and information, right? Of course. And it's good to have data. But then you have to do something with that data, right? And so that's why in every class that there's a doing part. So if you have been just listening to... Anelia Benz's classes and not doing, it's not quite enough. (laughs) In fact, it's not enough at all. (laughs) Not quite enough. The data is You got to do the work. You got to do the work. Exactly. You got to do the work. And then when you take one of our workshops at Ibenz Academy. Oh, you better be ready to do work. The doing (laughs) is like full on. (laughs) If you aren't doing the the classes and the work that comes and the assignments with the classes as of yet, then a workshop with Ivan's Academy is not, not for cool. you. <laughs> <laughs> or you better get yourself in gear and ready for it because there's work. Exactly. And it usually continues past, mm-hmm. right? Like there hasn't been one, I'd say, like workshop at least that um, we've had where we didn't just continue in doing something after. And it was all interest. Like it wasn't like, oh, here's an assignment. We need to do this. It was more of like, okay, now we're all like really engaged and connected and we're interesting and interested and there's really cool things we could do. Let's do that. What are we going to do next? Yeah, let's do Start creating and that proactive, that doing energy. Exactly. Exactly. So, and it's important to... For example, this is something I've had to deal with myself. I, we've said on this podcast before, we're workaholics. <laughs> Not everyone needs to be or needs to continue or have that program. I actually think it's getting better. Oh, good. Way. Just saying, a side note, it doesn't fully resonate anymore because I think it's getting better. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. But we do a lot. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We do a lot of really cool things. Yeah. And part of the doing is like, what are we putting our attention and focus on and moving out of the negative stuff into inspiring stuff like Mm -hmm. that in of itself is a big process or a big step shall Mm -hmm. we say but we're doing so many things because there's so many cool projects and interesting collaborations and this that and the other right 
But sometimes, you know, our physical bodies have limits Mm -hmm. and like they need sleep and rest and not 12 or 16 or 18 hours of screen time and all of these things. So it's all about like doing in a way that is empowering and responsible yes, for your body too for sure. because we're not omnipotent we have our limits we need sleep we need to take breaks and all these things so it's not like do all the time that's not the point it's about you know being proactive about our work and doing that in, in the time and the space that is conducive to our high frequency because you know processing for eight hours a day is not going to be good actually no no, don't do that it's easy to fall into that trap I think if you're somebody who likes to process like it's really easy to think oh okay I'll just you know keep processing keep processing and it's like but you get it's the that it is a proactive step it is doing but there's also like existing and being and experiencing life in the world Mm -hmm. right that we're in and so that's that's what we should be doing most more and probably more than anything is experiencing right and what kind of experiences do we want to have do you want to have a processed for eight hours a day or do you want to have like a processed and and maybe it was an hour maybe it was a half hour and then I went and saw my friends Mm -hmm. and we like had a really beautiful time and you know shared a lot of joy light love experiences and memories together Mm -hmm. because that is powerful as well so it's like not one without the other it's having the the blend like the full like i want to say 31 flavors but like only high frequency 31 flavors (laughs) right exactly (laughs) and if you don't know 31 flavors there's an a popular american ice cream like shop chain out here that has 31 flavors so, of ice cream. What kind of ice cream? So they always have 31 flavors to choose from, which is probably way too many flavors, but that's okay. <laughs> but you're still eating ice <laughs> Depends cream. Depends on who you are and what kind of ice cream you like. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. what actions can you take to have a majority of your day be filled with inspiration, joy, laughter, creativity, yep. connection? You know, that's Community. the third. Community. Those are the 31 flavors we're talking about. Yes. Exactly. And you got to do it, right? Yep. Especially if you're in a space where maybe not a lot of people in your life are actively working on their empowerment. You know, one, connect with those who are, right? And it could be online, it could be in person. And also, for those who aren't interested in that, engage with them in ways that you are interested in with them too and mm-hmm. take those actions. Mm-hmm. And then over time, having 80% of your day or hopefully 100% of your day, filled with inspirational, joyful activities. Mm-hmm. That, that's it. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Then we that's are. That's true. That's it. We're in the new paradigm. Yeah. Because that's it. <laughs> and if you're thinking, oh, yeah, I'll do that when I move, or I'll do that when I get my new job, or I'll do that, like, when I... Tomorrow. X whatever. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> like, if ever we're putting that off and I'll do that later, it's like that right there is like that's the put off of it right like that's not the doing of it like the do it now Mm -hmm. (laughs) exactly like how can I connect now yeah there's that there's that phrase that says the best time to plant a tree is yesterday the next best time is today (laughs) there you go right yep so do it now yep and it can start small there's so many tools out there Mm-hmm. Like, go to nillybent.com. There's tons of free articles and classes that are all about how to be proactive and taking action to mm-hmm. take your power back and be high frequency. Yeah. If you really want to go deep and supercharge your life, the Instant Manifestation Workshop will definitely get you to do that because we're doing it together. There's a very powerful protocol and steps in the process that make it and facilitate you to take those steps in your life and empower yourself and manifest what you want to create. And I call it a workshop for a reason, right? Oh, yeah. It's a workshop. Yeah. 100%. Because we're doing work. But it's also work that is joyful and inspiring because ultimately we want you to be able to 
express your highest frequency. Mm -hmm. And a big part of that is experiencing what you want to have in life and manifesting the experiences you want to have in life. Mm -hmm. And the workshop is really powerful at doing that. Yeah, absolutely. So the Instant Manifestation Workshop isn't offered all the time. It is a class that is collaborative in nature, so we only release it once or twice a year. So if you're interested, then it's important that you sign up for our wait list because the folks who sign up for our wait list are the ones who are going to get the info about when the next one's going to become available, what you can do to prepare, because it does happen in a synchronous way. Like you take the workshop with others and this is really important you want notice yes <laughs> because if you do all the prerequisites or think you're going to do all the prerequisites in like you know a week or two of signing up like good, good luck <laughs> <laughs> if you could do it impressive but it's, it's so, a lot of work yeah, it's yeah. A, that'll be a hero's journey yeah, <laughs> yeah. so you could go to the website now and you can see the prerequisites and check that out for yeah sure. exactly so this is get part started. of yeah, this is part of the doing. Like yep. get prepared for that now yep. and start doing now. So if you've been thinking, oh, I really want to take it, but I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't blah, 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 whatever the reason is, well, like start with doing the the prerequisite work. Get started. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a way to move towards it, an action to move towards it. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And spoiler alert. One of the steps in the process is about being proactive, (laughs) stepping out of passivity and being proactive. Right. Right. So this is literally one of the tools in this manifestation process. Mm -hmm. And it's important. It's important for many areas of our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I only wish somebody would blank. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait. I'm somebody. <laughs> exactly. Be that somebody. Yes. I'll wait to do it until maybe tomorrow. Or I'll have them give it to me. Or, you know, uh, that's one way to do it, I guess. But we don't recommend it for an empowered life. <laughs> yeah, right. And we don't have to be the only ones doing it, you know. It's like we don't do it alone. So you, we share these inspirations and we share these ideas and somebody might be like, oh, actually, I already did it. And it's like, oh, fantastic. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Great. So know that you are an extremely high-frequency being, right, at your true source frequency. Wow. Amazing expression of light and love. Joy, light, love. Know that. Right. But also know it's up to you to fully express that and embody that in your day to day life, because that's what embodying the new paradigm is about. Literally Mm -hmm. is letting that light shine through in everything that you do. And we want to have those joyful, inspirational, creative, amazing experiences with you together, because that's the other part of it as well. We can all co-create that together. So you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to take action alone. But it also does start with you. Yeah. So. And action, we're not, we're talking high frequency action. So none of this indulging in low frequencies. Right. Um, You know, the chicken scratches, the victimhood, the aggressor, the, you know, there's so many things, the fear, the, there's lots of temptation. Yes. <laughs> what we could indulge in wallowing in, oh, oh, is me or woe is, woe is me. Woe is me. Um, oh, woe is me. Yeah. I, I mean, those are all tempting and shoot, I found myself in those moments before plenty of times. I'm like, oh yeah, wait, what am I doing? Yeah. You know, that's not, that's not what I want to create. Mm-hmm. So it's just being aware, right? Being diligent and Know that every time you make a choice, every time you make a a proactive, like high frequency choice, you're just like compounding, you know, it's like, and I and Larry have lately been talking about stacking the positive. You're stacking the positive, like those start to add up Mm -hmm. and it adds up and it adds up and then it becomes easier and easier and easier. And the next thing you know, you look around and like, you're not impacted or affected by what's going on in the old paradigm because it's just not in your reality Mm -hmm. you know it's just not important and when you do have those interactions with it through people or connections of some sort it's like 
it doesn't even impact you in that low frequency way. And of course, you know, we have responsibility to take care of our bodies and do what's comfortable for your physical body. If you're sensitive, like don't put yourself in situations that would um, cause adverse reactions. But it's like, it's that compounding, it's that stacking of positivity. It's stacking those high frequency moments and decisions. And like, and that starts to become the foundation of the reality that you experience. And hey, that's what we're creating, right? Yep, exactly. It's not a passive thing. It is not. It is a very proactive thing. And it's a lot easier when you do it with others too. So. It is. And just, just more fun. Mm-hmm. I think we've said that here like more a number of times. It's yeah. so much more interesting. Mm-hmm. so much more fun. You get puppy time. <laughs> you get good food. You get hang out. Like, hang interesting out, conversations. conversations. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And you just get to be with your people. Mm-hmm. And like, that's amazing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When we got the right people. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't have them yet, go find them. Yes. Be yeah. proactive. Go find be them. Be proactive. If you don't know where to start, wow. Walk with me now. Walk with me now. <laughs> Hang out with us at I've Been's Academy. Like that. There's take a- the workshops. We've I know we mentioned we've got our power objects workshop coming up, and of course, just like with all of our the things that we do, it's going to involve connection and community. Like mm-hmm. it's just like expect it. You're gonna get to know people. You're gonna get to know us. We're gonna work together. Yeah. Yeah. And this is also one of the most powerful actions that you can do too, is to connect. Connect in high frequency ways. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) Well, my cup is um, still full with knowledge and (laughs) high frequency. And your tea cup too. (laughs) My tea tea cup too, yes. Mm -hmm. So I think our morning cup though has come to an end. At least for this week. For now. We'll (laughs) see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. Ciao.